Welcome back to Distantly Together, a video series hosted by the Miami University Art Museum. My name is Bob Wicks. This installment introduces a life-size bronze sculpture of Caroline Scott Harrison, Oxford, Ohio's First Lady. Few presidential wives have had public sculptures erected to their memory. This project was the result of several years' effort by the Caroline Scott Harrison Memorial Committee and the Oxford Community Arts Center. Funding was provided by a generous grant from the state of Ohio, as well as private donations. Designed by Jarrett Hawkins of Hawkins & Hawkins Custom in Cincinnati, this life-size bronze sculpture was dedicated on October 14, 2018. It is located near Uptown Oxford in the garden of the OCAC. Carolyn Scott was born in Oxford, Ohio in 1832 and attended the Oxford Female Institute in the building now occupied by the OCAC. In 1852, she married Benjamin Harrison, recent Miami graduate and future 23rd President of the United States. An Ohio historical marker honoring her was installed in early 2014. As First Lady, she began the tradition of standing for the national anthem. She designed presidential china and had electricity installed in the White House. Mrs. Harrison also began the tradition of a decorated White House Christmas tree. Caroline helped to establish the Daughters of the American Revolution, or DAR, by becoming the organization's first national president in 1890. When the DAR held its inaugural national gathering in 1892, Carolyn made the first public address by a sitting First Lady of the United States. The local unit of the Daughters of the American Revolution was established in 1916 as the Oxford Caroline Scott Chapter. A large bronze plaque on the exterior of the former Female Institute building, installed in 1930 following a major restoration project, identifies it as the Caroline Scott Harrison Memorial of the Daughters of the American Revolution. The sculpture shows her as a young student while attending the Oxford Female Institute. She's in a pensive mood, perhaps contemplating what she has just read, holding a book open to her favorite passage. If there are other examples of public art you would like to have covered in this series, just let me know. Above all, keep safe and stay healthy.